So, all right, so, you wanna know about Perdium? Well, here it is from what I have found out in my little bit of research that I have put down for you, bro. All right. I'm always changing my mind on a video concept. I make videos just about every day and all like that. Sometimes more than once, sometimes more than less. But, you know, the concept of the video changes in my mind. And, you know, I get influences from other videos that I watch as well as the questions and comments that's in my that's that's in my videos. So I already put together a video about Perdium. You know, as I told my man OH10 in the in the video that I already made, that I'm not sure about Perdium. I, I'm, you know, it's always sketchy to me because I'm hearing different advices, different takes, and different experiences on the subject. And when the subject was brought to me as a question, I went and uh, did all my homework. Now, I may not did all the homework or did all the research, but the little bit of research that I did do, I guess is from one point of view on how you look at Purdy. Now that I got a chance, and I will link this video in the description, I got a chance to listen to this one YouTuber talk about Per diem. Companies pay you per diem rate. They'll pay you so much a mile and so much per diem. So instead of getting 40 cents a mile, you may get 30 cents a mile and 10 cents per diem. And some companies pay a flat rate. They go, all right, we'll give you $40 a day per diem. The rate last year was what, $63, right? So the, you can take 80% of it, $50.40 you get to take for every day that you're out on the road, okay, off your gross taxes. Let's talk about the good and the bad of it. Okay, the good of it, you can take more money home. Give you guys an idea on what per diem for the driver and per diem for the company. Now, see, I never knew until he said it that per diem is never good for the driver, and I never understood why. 
But in his video, he said Perdium is good for the company. And I'm like, well, when you think about it, the company is always going to make something good for them with the driver in mind. But the ultimate goal is for the company's sake. When you think about it. One of my commenters on my YouTube asked me, and it's about Perdium, right quick. So, here's the question. And it's from my man, OH10D, Ohio D. What's going on, brother man? Thank you, thank you very much for being a subscriber. And thank you for leaving a comment. That's how I get at you guys, through the comments. Love the interactions, you know what I'm saying? But check it out. It reads, hey, I just got started OTR over the road. Is Perdium a good thing? Can you explain how it works? Thanks, and light the lids also. Well, thank you. I'm rocking the Cleveland joint right now, and I appreciate you asking me this question. So, like I said, before I get into it, and you know, I don't wanna talk like I'm talking out the side of my neck here. I'm about to go ahead and research it, and I'm about to bring it right to you, bruh. So, give me a minute. And I'm about to do that for you. So that's what per diem is. You're better off not taking it from your company if you give it the choice. That's just helping them. They pay less in taxes for you because they have to pay their part of your taxes and they have to pay workman's comp based on your income. And they have to pay you workman's compensation. They have to pay unemployment. That's all based on how much you make. So the less they can show that you make, the more money they make. So you want to know about per diem? Well, here it is from what I have found out in my little bit of research that I have put down for you, bro. All right, here it is. This is what I found out about per diem, per my research, all right? So I hope this helps you out. What is per diem for truck drivers? Truck driver per diem pay is it internal revenue service, the IRS, reimbursement designed to cover meals incidental expenses occurred by the drivers while they're out away from home it gives drivers more take home pay because less taxes is being taken i mean it's being withheld the per diem pay program <laughs> per diem pay program works by breaking compensation into two components, a taxable line haul rate and a non-taxable per diem rate, all right? Combining an alternative standard mileage rate, a non-taxable per diem reimbursement and lower taxes result in the high into result in higher weekly take home pay. And it's supposed to put more money in your pocket. And who doesn't like more money in their pocket? Who doesn't like that? I like it. Let's continue. Here's some frequently asked questions about per diem. And, uh, and again, uh, OH10, I hope this uh, helps you in deciding whether if you wanna stay on per diem or uh, go you know, straight pay. All right. Is truck driver per diem 100% tax? The answer to that is no. There's an 80% cap that's IRS. The remaining 20% is open for taxation. What is the difference between the taxable line haul rate and the non-taxable rate? And how can drivers decipher those two on a base element? Answer. The non-taxable rate is the per diem portion, typically a 0.145 mile per, uh, per mile. When you look at what you're bringing in, you, ha you have to combine the taxable portion and the non-taxable portion that shows the net pay that you're actually bringing in. All right, so let's say you're getting 45 cent a mile, right? 
So out of that 45 cent for per diem, they're gonna take 11 cent per mile. So you're actually getting 34 cent a mile. So 34 cent a mile times whatever miles that you put in is gonna be taxable. And then the 11 cent per mile, whatever you put in is non-taxable. All right, next question. I'm a driver and I choose to sign up for per diem. Does that put more money in my pockets? Answer, absolutely. And the benefit is it brings on more money to you in real time. In most cases, drivers don't need that money at the end of the year. They need it while they're out on the road. I do need my money right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are some other advantages of participating in a per diem program? Answer, you don't have to keep up with all the over the road receipts that you normally have to if you was going to claim that at the end of the year. It's, easy, it's an easier tax preparation. 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 There you go. What are things drivers need to take in consideration when determining if per diem is right for them? Answer, every situation is different depending on your tax situation. If you're contemplating not participating, they suggest that you talk to a tax consultant. We hate for someone to be deprived from seeing a real-time benefit. This is an individual situation. What is best for you as an individual? It's too easy to be misinformed. That's why I'm researching this for you now so that I won't give you no miscommunications or anything like that. Because as I'm reading this, I'm learning this for myself as well. You know, so I might stay on per diem or I might decide to jump ship and start claiming at the end of the year. I don't know. But this is good information that I found out for you though. Is every driver eligible? Answer, not every driver. Per diem is, in, per diem is expressed in cent per mile basis and is used to cover over the road expenses. You may not, you may not be over the road every day and you might not be under a cent per mile package. Drivers that drivers that don't fall in these two categories, including drivers in flex configurations, in training, and with daily rate conversations. All right, so, OH10, I hope that uh, that pretty much answers your questions. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me go ahead and bottom line it for you right quick. To decide for yourself if per diem is right for you, here's some bullet points, all right? Driver advantages. Increased weekly take-home pay. Simplified tax pre preparation. No need to track expenses for meals and incidentals for time away from home. The company that you, that you work for that offers per diem, they're the ones responsible for tracking per diem and bears all and bears all IRS risks. Benefit to 90% inexperienced drivers and many experienced drivers, according to an industry consultant. All right. So there you have it, uh, OH10. I, I hope. Uh, excuse me. I hope that answers your questions. And if anybody else, if you know, truck drivers or anybody else that's familiar with per diem, or if you're on per diem, per diem, per diem, if you're on per diem, leave your comments in the, uh, in the, in the comments below and tell OH10 and myself about your experience with per diem. The experience I'm experiencing with per diem works out better for me. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't have a lot of receipts that I save over the road anyway.
listening to our solo, get in the flow, and you can picture like a photo. Music makes mellow, maintains to make melodies for MCs, motivates the breaks, I'm everlasting.